I need to tell a story real quick. Okay. So, so many people are here right now. Who was I sat with? I was sat with Silas, Mousy, Bryony, Kirsty, uh, Pedguin, Mango, Daltos. Like all of these people were here, and they were like, "Oh, Rithian's here." And I, I opened the curtain to go see him, and I ran up and I hugged Rithian, and he picked me up. I started sobbing. <laughs> she was. I was inconsolable. She was red in the eyes. I was inconsolable. I had to redo my makeup. I was like, "Oh, did you see the dog?" <laughs> no, he, Pedwin thought I saw the puppy, and I was like, "I saw Rithian." And then Xylus was like, "Are you crying?" And then he held me, and I cried more. And it was just like this. That message reminded me of it because it's like. Not only have I made friends with everybody, and like now so many people are here during this time, but it's also like you know, this was my biggest dream, and now all of my biggest dreams are here. Teach me how to do things, and I got to see them, and I just I don't know. I just was very overwhelmed, and I just was actually sobbing. I was actually sobbing, and it was just it was actually it's pretty magical. Um, Cause I was like, damn, you know, this is Rithian, and these are all people that were like, also not my childhood, cause I'm older than probably most of you, but for me it was like, oh my god, it's Jingle Jam, everyone that I've watched for ten years do charity is here, and I get to do it too. Help, and seeing Rithian get here too, I think it just it just broke me. So I was just like, you even cry when you meet me. And I was like, yeah, but everybody's here now. And seeing Daltos and everybody too. Everybody traveling really far. So, this is my stream. Help. They're figuring out how to do the buttons in there. But I don't know. I was inconsolable. I was actually sobbing. Um, and then I like walked away and I would talk to someone else and I would just start sobbing again. And they're like, everyone that came up to me, they're like, are you okay? And I was like, I'm just really happy. So it Aww. was great. It was really nice. But that message reminded me of it because like, I was talking to the Dogs for Autism people earlier too. And we were just talking about the global reach that the Jingle Jam has. Mm. How like, you know, there are a lot of charities based in the UK, but we have people donating from all over the world, from the United States and everything. And I remember like in my time zone, five hours behind, you know, catching any amount of Jingle Jam live that I could or watching on YouTube and everything. So like I was there, I was there too, along with all of you. And now I'm here, and it's just, like, absolutely wild. A dream come true. It's a dream come true. How'd it feel to meet Potato? That bitch wrecked me in Civ. So I met him, I said, you're the one that murdered me? Thank you, I was getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's magic, though. I'm so happy. I think today has been... I'm getting choked up again. I think today with everybody being here and it being charity and then a charity person coming in and talking to us about like how important it is and like how hard it is for them to raise money, you know, outside of big things like this themselves and to like see the difference that it's actually making. And I talked to them about it too and I was like, you know, when I got asked to join the Augs cast and I was it was my dream anyways like one of the biggest things that I thought about being in the Augs cast that would be nice would be in the jingle jam and doing the charity for that so 